Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, new T-Fight 315 in the house. Stay tuned. All right, guys, good morning to everybody out there, as the teacher always says. And in the class, I always says, good morning, mister. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Coffee sponsor today is someone. Uh, someone hooked me up with some coffees, and it looks like someone said, love your stuff, cool trip to Japan. Can I please ask you where I might find a grommet set for an old Babolat Aero Tour 97? Thanks. Wow. Calling all stores. Calling all stores and basements and garage sales out there. Can you check for someone if you have a Babolat Aero Tour 97 and let me know if you have one? Because that's going to be a super tough one. Um, I mean, that's an old racket. I mean, eBay, um, Google it, see if it pops up. Maybe my buddies over at Racket Guys in Canada, sometimes they have random stuff like that. But that's going to be super tough. Um, that racket wasn't made very long. So um, the grommet sets are probably going to be very sparse, all right? But um, good luck to you. I'm going to Google it myself and see if I can find anything, and I'll, I'll get back to you if I find one, though, okay? Good luck. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day and want to ask me if I have an obscure grommet, feel free to do so with the coffee in the mornings. Network is going to be at buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin the coffee not the grommet all right if you want to hook us up super thanks is the way link is below you can hook us up as much or as little as you'd like all right cheers to everybody out there thank you so much for the morning roast i was complaining over at pete's today but not to pete's though unfortunately so they have this brew called um ethiopian supernatural and there's a big sign there introducing it for probably a month now and i think i've only had it once <laughs> one time and i asked uh my girl lena over there i was like lena when are we having supernatural it's like friday and saturday only but i was here friday and saturday not that I don't like the Gaia or anything, it's just why are you advertising something you never give me? <laughs> yeah. And it was it was good. It was good. I'm just I, I don't mind this Gaia, but it's just me ranting about my morning brew. You know, it, it's it's just what I do. Okay, so I just got teeth cleaning, and I'm already dumping the black coffee down there. My dentist, Jerry Ma. Dr. Jerry Ma said, I just cleaned all your coffee stains out. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> it's like, it's getting harder and harder to do that because your teeth are getting blacker and blacker. I was like, yeah, I know. So the trick is if you don't want your black in your teeth or stain it, you know how people, you see people with a hot cup and a straw? That's what they're doing they're trying to not stain their teeth. So they just kind of suck it down through the straw. Hot coffee, hot mocha, hot anything. I always wondered that. Why are people sucking a straw uh, on a hot beverage? Well, now you know. All right, so now you're gonna know about the uh, new Technofiber T-Fight 315 now. In the past version, we meaning Coach Goo, Coach Chris, and I have loved this one more than the 305, more than the 300, more than anything else. Is that Elliot? That is not Elliot. It is Admiral. Hey, Admiral. 
It's Admiral. How you doing, Admiral? If I was any better, uh, they'd call me Harry. All right. <laughs> Roger Staubach's backup quarterback. If you guys know who Roger Staubach is. All right. All right. So, uh, 315, we all love this one in the past version. They have made slight updates to the racket. All right. So, let's take a look at the numbers and why we liked it so much. Obviously the weight, we love weight. Balance, probably slightly on the lighter side than we would like it. Um, probably would love this in the fours, four points headlight. Swing weight is definitely there. We like that number a lot. The beam, 22.5, is a hair thicker than like a normal racket of this caliber. 69 is pretty stiff for a racket like this. So, in this updated version, what did they give you? More feel. So, all the companies, including Technofiber, are giving you more of a slight and more of a, eh, more of a slight feel thing. Everybody's talking about feel these days. They've also dampened this a little bit, supposedly, with some foam in this kind of a, they call it the yoke. Uh, I call it the the bridge area, the the shoulders of the racket to quiet it down. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like that, but hmm, Isoflex. Yeah, hopefully they didn't screw it up. All right, let's take it on the court and try it. Alright guys, so we just got the 315. I know. What? This was our favorite back in the day, I know. wasn't it? It was. Um, since you're in maybe the mood or the frame of mind to uh, switch rackets. Uh, well, my, my contract expired, so I'm looking. Oh, oh. they I'm might looking. resign you though. But I mean, They might. Tell them what, what you thought of that racket. So overall, I mean... Um, this was our personal favorite. The T-Fight 315 was always our favorite. Um, and honestly, they did a really good update to this racket. Um, we tested the 305 before, and all of us really didn't like the personal taste behind it um, because it felt like for us it was lagging behind, especially on shots. Uh, but the 315 actually, on this version of the T-Fight, did a great job. Um, it... It's not similar or as is the same, exactly the same as the old version, of course, but it definitely had had its improvements for sure. Um, overall, the weight transfer, um, the weight transfer of the racket actually does go throughout the whole racket, starting from the handle all the way up to the head. Um, it plays well. It feels easy to maneuver. I think that's what they're known for. The, the maneuver factor is so easy. Um, and the feel is there, the power is there. Um, if I had the chance to weight it, I would have to play around. I'm not exactly sure where to weight it. Uh, maybe I want it maybe near closer to the head, of course. But overall, I mean, this is a racket um, that I personally liked, and maybe, maybe, definitely might be switching. So we'll see. We'll see. 
All right, Chris, what do you think about this racket? This racket's great. I agree with Goo. Um, this it plays, like, in stock form pretty nice. I think um, if I were Goo, I would add a little bit more weight to it um, to add more plow through, too. But, again, a very good, comfortable racket. Um, and I think that this it would be a good one for definitely for the pros, too, as well. It comes through the, ra it comes through the ball quite quickly. And... Um, yeah, just another fun racket to play with. So, and the biggest thing for me, it didn't feel like a three oh five. It didn't like feel like a three fifteen. It actually yeah. felt like a three oh five. It felt like the swing weight of it was lighter, so it was actually quite good to um, play with. So, yeah, I actually love this racket. If I was a Technofiber guy, I would definitely do T Fight three one five. This yeah. is the one. We love this one in the last series, and we, we always continue loved it. to love this one in the new series. I don't think it, it needs lead do you guys think i it think needs? it needs a little bit in my does. in my opinion i think in the head mm -hmm. uh, yep. but but sure. but but that's that's me right that's, it, that's, that's yeah. just her personal I mean, taste that, but yeah. like for an og racket like just for what it is the stock version it is a great racket overall yeah. no I, this is what do you my think favorite. chris i agree all right and that's it guys <laughs> but yeah damn harry you need it i'm the sorry. Best favorite of the technofibers, I think. That's true. Okay. Coach Goo is going to go through a racket journey, and this racket is definitely going to be in there. Yes. All right. Coach Chris, where can we find you? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And, and that's it. It. All right. Woo! Goo, where? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Do you go on the court and play mindlessly? Not knowing what you're doing, not knowing how you're going to win, do you just counterpunch whatever's coming at you? Are you the counterpuncher or are you the aggressor? Do you know when to run a play? The singles playbook and the doubles playbook will tell you exactly how to do that. My man Will at Fuzzy Yellow Balls wrote these books with his many years of experience of teaching and collaborating with pros to easily teach you how to run a tennis play. It's as easy as that. Check out the plays on these books. There's a QR code you can scan and it'll show you in a video how to do it. Then you can practice it, run your play, and win your point. Check it out at Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Link is below.